All right, so there's been a bunch of people wanting to know or see more activity on this thing. So honestly, kind of got to a point, a contention point. The bed wasn't really what I wanted. I mean, I like the bed, but it wasn't long enough. I don't want to shorten the wheelbase anymore. And honestly, dude, the thing is so freaking big. I don't really have a use for it. So I have, I've had it up for sale for a while. I've had some people wanting to trade some things for it. Nothing's really come to fruition. So uh, honestly, I feel like if I put some polished Alcoas on it, this thing would sell in a heartbeat. Uh, but since it's not, winter's coming. Uh, I'm getting ready to pour concrete in the shop here in the next week. So that'll help. It's still a dirt floor. It's kind of a pain in the ass to work on in there. So um, now that I'm getting concrete in there, uh, I'm kind of kicking around messing with this thing again. Um, I think actually what I'm going to do is uh, um, I think I'm going to drop the cab another six inches or so. Uh, it just it's so high up. There's tons of room under here. Um, I think it would proportionally look better. So I've got the I got about six inches I can work with here. That'll close these gaps up quite a bit. That'll close this gap up quite a bit. It does not help the fender situation. Um, realistically, the truck, the whole cab should be pushed back like two or three inches, but I just don't, I don't have the room. Um, it's kind of stuck where it's at. So that doesn't help my fender rubbing issue, which actually you can see it over here a little better. Ah. <laughs> it's just eating up those fenders. So, uh, but I got tons of other room. The, uh, I don't remember, I think the cross brace there is the only reason why I didn't drop it down any lower and the clearance to this coolant tank. Uh, the more I got looking at it, um, I've got clearance on the doghouse, I think. Uh, I actually might have to make a new one because I think it's getting really close to the block uh, or the head there. So I may just make a new doghouse. But I think I'm just going to drop this all the way down to the frame. That's a good six inches there. I'm going to have to relocate the bumper because it's too far. I'll have to pull it out, but that is no big deal. It's just to build a bracket there. But then these will straddle the frame with about two inches of exposure left. It'll drop the whole thing down. And uh, overall, I think it'll just make it look a little better. Right now, we've got a little over 14 inches. So that would move that hole to like seven inches and that'll just make this whole thing look a lot better, close all the gaps up. Um, as far as the bed goes, uh, like I said, it's, it's just so damn big, I don't really have a use for it. Uh, so I think what I'll do is make a wedge deck for it with a beaver tail, um, turn it into a car hauler of sorts. Um, that way I think it would sell a little faster maybe i mean it'd be a dedicated uh car guy that would buy it anybody who wants just a flatbed you know wouldn't have any interest in it because it'd be a wedge deck but um i think the wedge deck would look kind of cool with the old cab and uh like i said some polished alcoa wheels you know make it look shiny and pretty whatever uh so that's kind of where i'm at um honestly i haven't even touched the thing for god forever I guess it's been almost two years now. It's just been, it's just been sitting. So uh, that's the plan. I think. I wish I could find. I wish I could find a way to lower the suspension because if I could get the truck lower, I think I'd be way happier. Um, I don't even know if I could lower the rear suspension any. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But whatever. So that's where we're at. I think that's the plan. So as I tear into it after we get concrete in it, obviously I don't want to drive on the concrete for 30 days, uh, 28 days after it's poured, it's fully cured. But once that's cured, I may drag this thing in there and um, see what I can figure out on it.